Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm responding to your comments on Elton John's 1988 album, Reg Strikes Back. Now I've already reviewed all the tracks on that album in a previous video, and I reckon that it was a pretty decent album, perhaps a slightly better album than I'd remembered. And there are probably five good quality songs on there, um, but perhaps the others are slightly lacking in quality, letting the whole album down as a whole. Anyway, let's have a look at what you've had to say. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to be suggesting a super fantasy album, which combines the best tracks from Red Strikes Back with the best tracks from Leather Jackets. I don't know what we're going to call it, Red Strikes Back in a leather jacket perhaps, but I'm going to give you that sort of super 10 track fantasy album and see what you think about that. Now, Beth thinks that the highlights on the album are Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's Part 2, which, of course, was the follow up to the uh, Mona Lisa's on the Honky Chateau album. And I don't want to go on with you like that. I would agree with that. Both of those are quality tracks. I gave the first one nine out of ten, the second one eight. Uh, and they would stand as highlights at any part of uh, Elton's career, I think. Um, Beth thinks that um, Japanese hands and since God invented girls are quite boring tracks. Certainly the latter for me is almost a skip over track. I didn't think that worked very well at all. Now, there's been a lot of chat about the line. Um, it's a monkey sea town in the song Poor Cow. Beth suggesting that this plays off the idiom monkey see monkey do, where kind of the masses are merely sheep copying poor choices of others. That's uh, a very good theory, I think, Beth, and, and that stands up pretty well. So um, thanks for your contributions on that one. Uh, Orbin also querying that lyric. So we've got a discussion going on that. And the phrase, the hand-me-down gown. Um, well, this is possibly a reference to the fact that people are wearing secondhand clothes, maybe. Um, that's what's sort of going on in that town. It's an area where um, poverty uh, is rife. Of course, this song, Poor Cow, is about some sort of domestic abuse, isn't it? It's quite a serious topic that Byrne is um, tackling in the lyric there. Um, so... Um, Orbin thinks it's a pretty good song um, and that the interest sounds a bit like a Jean-Michel Jarre track. OK, that's interesting. I'd like to know which particular one you've got in mind there. Uh, Dirk agrees with most of my uh, ratings. Quite liked since God Invented Girls uh, originally, although he's unhappy with some of the lyrics. Um, likes uh, Elton's voice and harmonies on that um, and could give it five out of ten. I only gave it two. Uh, Dirk is not fond of Town of Plenty. Not one of Elton's strongest openers, that, was it? Uh, and Word in Spanish, a two out of ten. I thought Word in Spanish was a bit better than that. And I particularly like the um, acoustic Spanish guitar going on uh, in that one. Daniel says he mostly disagrees with my ratings. Well, that's OK. That's all right. And says this is one of his weakest albums. Uh, but likes a few songs. Um, word in Spanish, I don't want to go on with you like that. Uh, and Daniel quite likes Town of Plenty uh, and Since God Invented Girls. The low points for Daniel are Poor Cow. I think that's a pretty strong song, actually. Goodbye, Marlon Brando. Again, that's almost a skip over. Quite a weak track, that. And Japanese Hands, I think that kind of outstays its welcome. It's got quite an interesting deep cut, I suppose, for fans. Um, and the kind of the mood that Alton creates on that, but um, maybe just overstays its welcome. Now, 007 has sent in ratings for every track. The Town of Plenty, six and a half. Um, yeah, that's OK. I didn't quite go that high. Word in Spanish, five and a half. I thought that was a stronger song, actually, of those two. Mona Lisa's nine out of ten. I think everybody seems to like that one. I don't want to go on with you like that. Um, great video as well. Eight and a half from 007. Japanese Hands, eight. Now, uh, that's interesting. Um, not that many fans of that song. Um, but um, uh, 007 finds it really interesting, and unlike anything Elton has done before or after. Now, I applied those comments to Heavy Traffic, which is one of my favourite on the album. Goodbye Marlon Brando gets six and a half, Cameron Never Lies six and a half, Heavy Traffic seven and a half. Um, I think that's a very unusual track for Alton, and I really enjoy listening to that one. Poor Cow, nine out of ten. I like that, yeah, it's a good strong one. Um, and um, uh, since God Invented Girls, eight out of ten uh, on that. I think that's, uh, uh, W7 calls it a kind of strange ballad, a nice flow of melody. Um, yeah, OK. Opinions differ on that one, don't they? Um, some people seem to like it quite a lot. Uh, Scooter Boy here um, is uh, liking the album quite a lot. Uh, Favourites, Poor Cow. Yeah, good composition. Love the subject matter, says Scooter Boy. Japanese Hands just likes it. Word in Spanish. And Heavy Traffic. Um, 
uh, Scooter Boy says it's one of the more frequent ones that plays in my head and usually it's me putting it on to listen to. Yeah, it is quite like that, isn't it? It's kind of a melody that sticks with you, probably because it's so unusual. The camera never lies. Again, subject matter and the treatment just grabs me. Um, so there's some strong tracks on that second side, aren't there? There's a run of three tracks, um, all of which are quite impressive. Um, so they may be making it onto my fantasy album. Uh, Davey says... Uh, he quite enjoyed this album. The two tracks he wasn't so keen on are Goodbye Marlon Brando. I'd agree with you on that. And The Camera Never Lies. Well, I think that's a pretty strong track, actually, especially the verse and the way it sort of launches. Um, but Davey found it a pleasant and interesting listen. Um, OK, now comments from Ellie um, agrees with me for most uh, of my points. The low points are Japanese hands and the camera never lies. So another downvote for that one. Everything else is fantastic. Um, Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatters, Ellie's saying, got a speeded up version of the 90s. Could that song go any quicker? I don't know about that. Um, um, she says this was on uh, the Live from Barcelona video. So I'll have to check that out. Um, Eddie loves heavy traffic um, and would be on um, their fantasy set list. It's just such a fun track. Yes, it is. A great lyric as well from Bernie on that, creating all these characters. Um, so uh, thanks for those comments. Now, Rob said the album took a while to grow on him, um, but he's come round to it. Um, and um, he's commenting on the cover, which was uh, an auction held in 1988 to clear his house of clutter. Um, so uh, that explains a lot of the detail, both on the cover and in the inside booklet. He says, I don't want to go on with you like that. It's an absolute killer single that I wish got more airplay. Rob is in uh, Canada. Um, yeah, it, it, it's just a great single, isn't it? And it's very easy to listen to um, because maybe because the verse and refrain are quite similar. Nothing wrong with that, of course. Um, the Camera Never Lies is one of my favourite 80s album tracks. The backing vocals are incredible. I agree with that. I commented on that on my video. Uh, fits together really well. Uh, and Rob says it reminds him of old Motown recordings. Yeah, that's, I wonder if that was the inspiration for that. Um, Japanese Hands doesn't age well. Uh, concerns about the lyrics there. Um, and since God Invented Girls, again, maybe some outdated attitudes uh, in that. Um, Goodbye Marlon Brando reminds um, Rob of We Didn't Start the Fire, the Billy Joel song. Anybody else uh, draw on that uh, comparison? So thanks for the background there. Always interesting facts coming in from Rob. And we always learn something uh, when he sent something in. Um, so many thanks for what you've uh, commented there. Keep them coming in if you've got anything else. Um, it's nice to dig deep into Alton's back catalogue, isn't it, for some of these. Um, and um, actually, they're quite rewarding uh, when you get there. Well, now to my fantasy super album. This is combining leather jackets from 1986 with Red Strikes Back 1988. So I've taken the best tracks from each one and I've come up with this album, which we could call Red Strikes Back in a Leather Jacket or whatever. Now, I open with Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's Part 2. Great start to the album. Don't Trust That Woman, uh, another good upbeat song from um, Leather Jackets. Heavy Traffic, we don't need to say any more about that. It's a classic cut, that one. Go It Alone, now that's one from uh, Leather Jackets. Um, a little bit like Nobody Wins from The Fox, isn't it? It's that sort of mood. Um, I think it works pretty well, actually. Um, then we've got Poor Cow, again, a powerful lyric, good set of Elton. Now, track six is a controversial one, which I know it splits the fans. It's Slow Rivers, Elton's duet with... Cliff Richard. Now, not everybody likes that one. It's an it's a strange sort of melody. The whole thing is a bit odd, but it's quite interesting. So I put it in there. See what you think. Then I go with I don't want to go on with you like that. No arguments there. Maybe um, track eight. I've put heartache all over the world. Lots of people like this song, even though apparently Elton said somewhere it was the worst song he'd ever recorded. Um, I quite enjoy it, actually. Um, so I put it in there. Um, track nine, I've said Paris uh, from Leather Jackets. Again, a nice, moody, evocative song. Good setting from Elton. Uh, finishing off with The Camera Never Lies. Again, that splits the fans, uh, but I enjoy that. Now, if you're going to have an 11th song, I would put in I Fall Apart from Leather Jackets. Um, and again, I know uh, I was critical of the production of this the setting. I would like Elton to re-record it in a lower register just with the piano maybe, similar to um, the last song um, and something like that. 
putting those two together um, in a new setting, I think that could be quite a powerful closer to the album if you wanted sort of uh, a melancholic ballad to finish off with. So that's my Fantasy Super album. If you've got any ideas how you would combine those two albums, uh, please send them in below. Uh, but I think actually that's a pretty good set of songs um, and that would rate pretty highly. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I've got one more Elton studio album to review, and that is Empty Sky. I'm pleased to say I have got my hands on a copy of it now, uh, and that's going to be coming very soon. So talk to you soon. Don't forget, we're still standing.